Mm, hello, Rad Time friends, all ages. There was a request to uh, hear an early recording by our uh, ragtime songwriter, um, great uh, Mr. Louis F. Muir, uh, who hailed from St. Louis, and I believe um, he wrote one of our, our most beloved tunes, Waiting for the Robert E. Lee. And uh, I, I didn't live to see an old age. I, I believe he, he passed around 1915 of consumption, uh, which was what they called tuberculosis back in the day. But uh, uh, somehow he made it up to uh, Belleville, New Jersey, um, probably about the time the tune, this tune was published to po uh, popularize it. Um, and it was issued on their rhythmic uh, piano roll label. That's the, uh, the roll label. Uh, there really isn't a lot of catalog information that goes back to the very beginning on the company that made the rhythmic rolls in Belleville, uh, being the Amer American Piano Control. Uh, so uh, one doesn't really know what's out there. Uh, in, in the collecting that I've done, and uh, I, I know, uh, friends uh, of mine in the past also, uh, I can account for only two roles that were played by Louis Muir. Uh, interesting enough, they're both played in the key of uh, F sharp, uh, which is known as the black key. And uh, legend has it that uh, a lot of people who played in the black key couldn't read music. Now that might or might not have been the case with Louis Muir. Uh, why that legend is, I don't know, but I've heard it more than once. Uh, uh, I know Edith Baker usually liked to play in strange, odd, sharp keys, and she surely could read music based on her accomplishments. Anyway, here is the, uh, the composer playing. You might notice, too, that um, the, the piece differs from the score, and there's an additional theme thrown in. Uh, this is what uh, in earlier days was called dance chorus. Later it became known as a patter chorus. And uh, if there was an instrumental version, i.e. without lyrics of the sheet music published uh, of Waiting for the Robert E. Lee, then this dance chorus most likely was published in the instrumental version. It could also have turned up in uh, band orchestrations of the past. But you'll hear a, a, a third theme and some vaudevillian tricks that were common on the earlier players. Namely, rather than to speed up towards the end, they'd slow down and uh, they'd repeat the last four bars several times, you know, uh, until the proverbial hook came out from behind the curtains to drag them um, off the stage. So here we go with uh, Louis Muir playing his own Waiting for the Robert E. Lee in 1912. <clears throat> Best I can do for you.